Social determinants of health are the conditions in which people are born, grow, work, live, and age, along with the wider set of forces shaping daily life. When it comes to what makes us healthy or sick, social conditions are as important as our genes, our behaviors, and our medical care. The social determinants of health are mostly responsible for unjust differences in health status, otherwise known as health inequities. The conditions that drive health inequities in the United States result from social structures and public policies. Community organizations such as the Puerto Rican Cultural Center in Chicago play a huge role in tackling causes of health inequities. These organizations improve health and well-being by bringing together people and resources to address social issues. Chicago Czech Fellows spent the day with Jose Lopez, executive director of the Puerto Rican Culture Center, to learn about the interconnectedness of social determinants of health and the community organizing and partnership building necessary to tackle health inequities. Our field trip to the Puerto Rican Cultural Center was actually really great. Uh, Jose Lopez um, was an amazing host. That's someone, you know, that I really want to emulate. That's someone that truly is not just, you know, talking about the community, he's really there for the community. The Puerto Rican Cultural Center is an umbrella organization of a whole series of initiatives that address the socioeconomic and cultural needs of the Puerto Rican community. We have a series of initiatives that address diabetes, address HIV AIDS, address obesity and mental wellness. We created this initiative, bringing in as much of the social capital of the community, including the health providers, uh, the community organizations, some of the universities, bringing everybody together to focus in on those health issues. The Puerto Rican Cultural Center is amazing at fostering a sense of community. From the parade they do, to the homeless shelter they have, I loved Jose Lopez. Just listen to him speak and all of the things that he knows about our history as a country and really global history and all the relations between cultures and people and things like that. And it was really connected to what we're learning about healthcare equity because history is at the backbone of these health disparities. You cannot just address the issue of housing independent of health, independent of education, independent of police brutality, independent of violence. All of those things are interconnected. If we don't look at the unnatural causes of uh, those illnesses, we will never be able to engage communities themselves in a process of self-actualization. So they begin to take full responsibility for their own health needs. Collaboration with the community and, you know, creating that network, creating those organizations is the only way to truly attack those, you know, those social injustices, those health disparities we see in those communities. It was very specifically not just about, um, obviously, helping the Puerto Rican community, but helping the queer community and helping um, people afflicted by certain diseases and certain disparities. But I think seeing the work that other people are doing is really an inspiration, both for me as someone who wants to go into that, and for people in general who are experiencing these healthcare disparities every day. One of my most important messages to these scholars is to view communities as ecosystem and to view the practice of health engagement through the lens of social ecology, which means that you begin to see a community as a living thing where all the things that impact on the community must be taken care of. What the Czech scholars are confronted with is that challenge to bring out their potential. And their potential is to understand the world about them, act responsibly upon that world, and transform that world. After Chicago Check, that's when I truly appreciated, okay, so this is how, if we're gonna make, you know, really big impacts at the, you know, at the community level related to healthcare, related to health inequities, if we're gonna truly att attack these social injustices, this is what we have to do. 